and welcome to Add More Zest. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids147, and it's time to de-kit the Ever Moment Custom. Yes, it is finished, and the custom reveal will be coming soon. So you can see all the custom, well, the four custom paintings that I've done from different suppliers on AliExpress and see if it helps you um, on which supplier might be better for you. But that will be coming soon. First, I need to de-kit the diamonds from this one. So I did have a refill part way through and I basically just filled up any diamonds that I could. I could have still fit the rest of 935 into this pot at the time, but they are quite static. And I wasn't up for messing with that while sat on the couch. So that is still a pack that needs sorting out, but the rest are all done with. And of course, that's not going to tuck away nicely because there's something in the way. Story of my craft room. Um, but the first box of diamonds I have here are my heaven and earth design. So these are for the two heaven and earth design that I'm doing. I have sort of two rows here, very mismatched. Some of them very much sort of piled up. I have that many. Um, but these are diamonds that I may need to complete those two projects. So I am going to have a quick run through first and see if there's any of these that can go in here. So I have a 317. Oh, are they going to fit? Let's give it a go. Because I'm not as, not as fussed how they're stored in here. I have a mixture of my nice bags, which are these, and my older bags. I have a mixture of the two because these are just a temporary holding. They're not my spares permanent holdings. So 318, I have a couple. So let's bob those in. Oh, I have a few different shades in there, but that's fine. I can work with that. So say many people won't have this step when they are de-kitting. It is just one that I have due to doing a heaven and earth design using my spares. So let's get any of these done and then I can just go back to my normalish process for de-kitting. The process I'd use if it was rounds because I don't do a heaven and earth design in round. but I do with squares. And there's actually quite a lot of these that are fitting into ones that I use. So that's always good. At least it means by the time I get anywhere near the end of that project, I should have all the diamonds I need. 762. I've only got a few of those so far and these are a completely different color. One's more of a grey and one's more of a cream. But I can work with that. I think that one goes into my black and white heaven and earth design. Okay, 779, no, 814, 823, 898, no, 902, no. 938. I have that one. Do I have a bag that they can fit in? Oh yes, that one's got a bit less in it. This is one of the older little grip seal bags. So it does tend to vary between each of them as to which one. So that's 938, 939. We definitely know we're using that. This is being used on my mammoth heaven and earth design. It uses a lot of 939. I might not need this many, but it definitely uses a lot. Ooh. That's 
I get in it? Okay, I might need to Google on a couple of these pots. 3072, no, 3371, yes. These bags are very full as well. Am I gonna get, oh, I have got one there that's got more room. It's the thing with Ever Moment, you do end up with a lot of spares. It's not very often that I only end up with a few spares, you know, under 100 spares. I normally end up with loads of spares. But when you're doing other projects with them, that's a good thing. Okay, they're not going to fit in properly. They can just sit there. 3787, no. 3799. A lot of dark colours are the ones that I need more of for these paintings. Three, seven, nine, nine. Get those back in. Three, eight, six, five. And that's the last one that I'll be able to use for my heaven and earth design. So where's my emptier bag, if there even is one? It's not looking like there is one. See if we can get them in here. I'm just at the point of squeezing them in now. As long as the bag shuts, I'm all good. 3865, it's, it's like a little bit of a candy stripe going on in that bag. Not the prettiest storage, but it does the job considering I'm overflowing with those colours. And then, trying to get this back on my shell. I do also have a box. I'm going to try and get to it because I didn't think about this beforehand. I have a bag of a bag of sort of bits from doing unboxings. I do also have this box. Now this is a box from a 3D filament roll. But this basically contains any diamonds that will not fit in my normal spare storage because I already have the full amount. So I'm going to have a quick look and see if there's any. So 413, for example, I already have a full bag. So this is already in my overflow. And this again is not attractive. This is a quick reference if somebody I know needs spare diamonds for any project I can go into here and know whether I have them to spare also 310 that has its own space it has this big bag I do use this for my heaven and earth designs but as many of you know with 310 oh, you get so many paintings with 310 in it it's probably the one diamond colour along with 3865 maybe that you can end up with an abundance of spares and because my heaven and earth design project is using them I just decided to throw them all in a big bag and it just sits in my tray of diamond painting stuff that I don't use very often. Okay so 413 is done, I've got no other 400s in here, 500s no 550, 700s, 792, I have that one, and I've got a bag here, which means I have enough in my spares, so these are sorts of the two steps that I do first, is when I'm de-kitting a square, is I check if there's any that can go into my Heaven and Earth design paintings, and then I check if there's any that I know I don't need because I've already got them in here, which means I've already overflowed my storage already. So 800s, they are in order, though they're not the prettiest. So have I got any 840? No. 844? Nope, that doesn't matter. So 900s. Starts on 905, 935, nope. 948, no, 950, 951, 
no, then it goes to the three threes. I've only got one three three that's overflowing. Three sevens, three seven two one, four seven, three seven five six. That's another one I have a lot of. And the reason I have so many of these is I had never put ever moment painting that had it as the background. And three seven six six. Nope. Three eight hundreds. So there starts my three eights. Don't need that one. And don't need the rest. So that is my extras extras box gone through. And now we move on to where you would be at if you kept all your spares and kept them all together. And this is my pretty box. This one has quite a few colours that I have a lot of. Um, as you can tell, both the round and the square are full. But apart from that, this is my pretty box. So this is my 100 to 600. So 319 is first. I have created a bag for each and every diamond. So as you can see, I've got 319 in round and 319 in square. I don't have any round at the moment, but the bag's ready when I do. I do have a bag for the square and it's not full, so I'm just gonna add them in. And this will build up my, my spares in the likes of 319. I always like to put the round bag before the square bag. It's just the way I see it in my head. Um, but eventually, my spares will be like a full bag of each, like 154 is. That is a full bag of each, as is 161. I've got one full bag of each. And eventually, my spares may all be like that. They may not. It depends what my paintings gift me as leftovers. I'm sure the more ever moment I do, the more spares I will end up with because they always give a lot, but. Okay, 407, 407, I have had before. Not many, but I've had them before. May have well have been a custom because there are a few colors that cross over between each seller because of course it's exactly the same picture that I'm doing four times but they do use different software and 520 520 some nice green I have loads of these left so that's put a lot more in that bag take my label off as I go 520. Pop that back and then 535. For anybody that is new here, this storage system oh, came up with it over three years ago, I think. And it has it has grown and evolved a little bit, but only in the basis of making it pretty. I'm still using the same sort of photo boxes I started with. I'm still using the same pieces of card. I just made the labels prettier. Um, and they are labels that are available in my shop. I have also improved the bags. So I was gifted some of these thicker, uh, I think they're four. Is it four micron or four something? Um, basically describes the thickness of them. So they are thicker than a standard grip seal bag. I have upgraded to those. And I have, of course, added on the pretty stickers for each one rather than a written label. They, again, are available for sale on my website, which is down here. Um, and I have, you know, made it pretty by using my phone board. I've coated it with a sticker. I've also created stickers for each divide as well. Um, they're available on our sticker sheet, but I have actually used them for a divide. So there's my 100s. There's my 200s and so on. 
<coughs> but it's really working well. So that was my 100 to 600. Then this is probably one of the fullest boxes that I have. This is 700 to 900. So we've got 700s all the way down here and a little bit here. Then we've got 800 squeezed in and then actually the 900 starts there and then carries on over here because this one is jam-packed. I could probably split into four boxes quite easily. I could maybe create a little bit more space by taking out these dividers. But by moving to four boxes, it doesn't quite sit as nicely on my shelf. And that's what's making me not do it. But it might be that I have to soon, just because it would be so much easier putting these diamonds away if I just had that little bit more wiggle room. But I now have so many extra diamonds in so many different colours, both round and square. Um, that I might have to make that leap sooner than I'd necessarily want to. I have limited myself, so now I will only allow myself to have in my spares one bag of each colour. So one bag of square 797 and one bag of round 797 because for the purposes of running out of diamonds and needing to fill one up, these bags hold quite a few, quite a few thousand diamonds. It is plenty to have one bag. If you plan on doing a lot of heaven and earth design projects where you use your spares, then you may want to keep them all. I have two projects on the go. So I make sure that any other colours that I need, I keep hold of. But I do also have, I now have three Heaven and Earth Design canvases. They sell the canvas, but not the diamonds. And I do think I'm primarily going to use my spares for that. So while I'm happy to send diamonds if people need them, out of my extras extras I'm also not in a huge rush to do so <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh <coughs> one more Woo. Um, I'm not in a huge rush to do so because I know I have three heaven and earth design canvases <laughs> Um, two of them are my daughter Megan's but both of our spare diamonds are all in the same thing um, so yeah it's it's one of those it's I just keep taking on too many projects I need to stop <laughs> I have so many things that I want to do especially diamond painting related wise there are so many extra projects and stuff that I want to do. I've got one diamond there that is stuck. It does not want to come out. Get out. Did I loosen it enough? There we go. Um, yeah, I've got so many projects. This custom comparison has taken quite a while. I am so glad that they're finished and I can't wait to reveal them all to you. I still haven't even laid them out myself yet. <laughs> I'll not be laying them all out and actually looking at each one until I do the video. So at the time of making this one, I can't even tell you which one I prefer. Um, and I was going to lay off comparisons for a while because they do take a lot of time and I do have a lot of paintings that I want to do for, you know, because they're paintings that I like and enjoy rather than doing the same painting multiple times for the purpose of a comparison. But I kind of have got roped into another one. So there is a painting that I'll be unboxing soon. The unboxing videos are scheduled in to come up soon for the mind, is it, is it Wisdom Fox? Fox Wisdom, it's called on Diamond Art Club. It is also sold by Mindfulness Painting, 
and they also have the licensing rights it is licensed art and it is licensed to both of them and I'm gonna do one of each so at least that one's only two paintings that I'm doing so while I am roping myself into another comparison it is only two paintings and not more but I am going to take that slowly I'm not going to rush over doing that I'm going to enjoy the process because I have many oh I wondered why there was a couple that were on the desk I thought it was just a couple that had missed the bag and I didn't want to deal with them but I have a bag with a split so bear with me I'm just fishing out more of these thick bags that were gifted to me so I can let's fix this I hadn't got any of these diamonds before you see do I keep trying to get them out of there ah why not so I'm going to fish I'm going to send them out of the hole that the diamond that the grip seal bag has created while it's there is that last one going to come out? Yeah. And then let's get those in. Okay. So they're all staying in that bag now. Now sometimes these stickers come off lovely. Oh, this off this bag they are. Some bags they will peel off quite easily. Some bags not so much. So I'm just going to make sure it's stuck on all corners because of course it will have lost some of the sticking. Let's put that back in the bin before I make the same mistake and reuse it. So I'm constantly reusing um, bags that I take diamonds out of. Okay, back to where we were. So 935, this is the one that has loads of static. They do not want to come out of this tub and that is purely through static they don't want to come out. In fact I've just had one take a complete dive. So let's see if I can get them out with my hands. There's only a few left out of that. Let's take that off and then I'll get rid of, get them out of the extra bag so it's the only reason I didn't add this bag to the rest was because I knew it had static and I didn't actually need them so I wasn't going to fight with them on the couch trying to get them into that little pot because they're jumping about enough trying to get into a bag and the opening's bigger See if I can get them all out. If not, I'll just use the desk and the old pick-up technique. I've got one stuck to my finger. The rest are out though. Just need to get them to go in the bag. They were fine to work with, even though they had static. I was still able to pick them up with my with my pen and get them on the canvas. And as soon as they're on the canvas, they didn't give me any trouble at all. It's just sometimes getting them in and out of the pot that can cause a problem. So six, four, eight. I only have a couple more now to go in the nine hundreds. And then we go to the last box. It's very weird doing a de-kitting where we don't see the diamond painting at the end. I'm so used to showing the diamond painting when I've finished. So it's very weird not to, but you won't have to wait long and I will do the custom reveal. I can't film it straight after this one, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping I could. Um, but I need the house to vacate a bit because I need the space. And I can't do it in the garden like I did with the Alice in Wonderland comparison because it's throwing it down. 
absolutely throwing it down and I think we're due for a full week of it. So conservatory floor it will be. But that's fine. That's fine. I can I can film it later when the house gets a bit quieter. Okay, I think they're all squozing enough. That's the 700s to 900s. So last, but by no means least, that is my 3000s. There is a little bit more room in this box. It flows a little bit, a little bit freer. So we'll start with 3-3 three, three, and then that's 6-3, which is another green. We don't have any three sixes, though there aren't many DMC numbers that start with a three six. There's only a few. Not many at all. We seem to have moved straight to doing a lot more of three eights. There's a lot more of those. So three three six three. And then I want three seven five, which is over here, two which is nearly a full bag, but not quite. A little bit of static in those, but that tips out quite easy. Gorgeous blue colour, this. Love it. Very nice, pretty duck egg blue. Okay, and then I can get those out. So three, seven, five, two, three, seven, seven, O. Oh. Peach. Oh, not had this one before. Let's hope we don't have a hole in the bag. We seem to be good. <laughs> it's probably just a glitch. It was only one hole that I found in a bag out of a thousand. So I think we've done pretty well. Three, seven, seven, four. Another one. And then we go to the three eights. This one's static as well. And I just keep tapping or flipping, flicking the tub until they jump out and jump into the bag and they can calm themselves down in there. Or in the case of many of the diamonds, they won't calm themselves down, but they can sit there, that's fine. They can have a little dance party. Okay, so we need 3839. So many of the numbers in the 38s actually follow each other. There's not as many gaps. And I know a lot of the gaps are due to discontinued colours and discontinued numbers, but I do think there's still quite a few times where they do skip numbers, whether it's because they planned to maybe bring out a colour but then didn't. I'm not sure. I'd have to have a look into the history of DMC a little bit more because DMC, the numbers that we use, of course, is a, a cross-stitch thread manufacturer. It is their colour number range that we use, though, of course, in diamond painting, it's not as exact. but at least it gives us a universal number system, which is so much better than each diamond painting company, either not putting any numbers on it or using their own individual numbering system. Imagine how many storage boxes we'd have to have if that happened. So I do appreciate the fact that DMC numbers have become a thing in diamond painting that, you know, even though the shading's off, it sort of follows. Definitely makes life easier. Okay, so scissors can go over there. Let's pop that one back in. Okay, three thousands are all back. Last thing I need to do is make sure that this box is ready for the next diamond painting I want to do. Now, it's only on a few, and I'm not even sure if you're gonna be able to see it, 
depends on which way the light catches it but there is a little bit of glue residue on a, few, a couple of these pots not many so I'm going to use Goo Gone I like Goo Gone um, it seems to do the job it smells of oranges which is awesome because as you know many you know chemicals or cleaners in effect this is like a sticky residue cleaner many of them smell of chemicals and harsh stuff whereas Goo Gone quite nicely smells of oranges now there's not a lot of residue on a lot of these pots some of them is just a little bit and it may even just be a finger mark that I'm wiping off but I do want to make sure that I take off any potential residue that I can see so that when I kit up next time it's as though I'm working from a new case oh it's a little bit there I've just seen that didn't seem to want to move which means it's probably sticky and then give them a wipe over just to double check and that's when I sort of spot that this one's picked up lint off the dry cloth which means it has a little bit of sticky residue and there we go so that case is now ready to be used for another diamond painting and when I get it out to do a new diamond painting I won't go oh I didn't remove that stuff so I always do it at the end um, but I just got Goo Gone off Amazon and that is the last big custom done. There is still a 30 by 40 for me to do, um, but that will not be part of the big custom reveal. That will be sort of a little added extra later on. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed and you've hit the notification bell so that you will get notified when the big reveal comes. Um, but thank you all so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.